All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting at the review table, and in front of us, we've got this is the bag that came with that Palmetto State Armory DAG. I wanted to show this to you because I thought it was really nice. Uh, first of all, you get a manual. You do get the little cover plate for your RMR cut cutout. And then you've got a 15 round mag, which, by the way, I've gone ahead and ordered about six more of these guys uh, from the guys over there at Big Daddy Unlimited. And I think they were $11.99 a piece. Anyway, these are the mag pool guys right here. Not bad. Uh, go ahead and put that away. But the pistol comes just like this. And a nice little strap right here. You got a lock in there. And that's it. Let's go ahead and double check, triple check. Yep, she's clear. Uh, the reason I do that, guys, is I have had dumb things happen in my, to me in the past. Okay, so we're not here to talk about this pistol. We're here to talk about... Uh, this guy right here. Uh, for those guys that were making comments, the malfunctions that were uh, in encountered while we were shooting this thing uh, were most likely from my, uh, what do you call those things, my reloads, because uh, they're reloaded specifically for uh, 2011 with a light spring to give that light recoil for three gun competition. I don't have to worry about power factor, so 124 grain, if they can hit the steel and knock it down, that's good enough for me and these gun cycles. Okay, so what are we talking about? We're talking about this guy right here. This is the ACSS Vulcan uh, with the reticle. That is the name of the reticle. From Hollis Sun, this is the HE509 with the red ACSS R. Now, let me just tell you guys right up the bat, uh, these things are $450, all right? Uh, is it worth it? you got to be the judge because you have to gauge what you're willing to spend on a red dot. Look at the stippling. Feel that? Okay, so anyway, this is the R model. That is the base plate for the uh, RMR cutout. Uh, there is one for the MOS cutout, but this is the R cutout. Okay, so what is this? It's a fully enclosed red dot with a Vulcan reticle uh, with a solar power panel. Okay, so we got this is the pendant. ACS says Vulcan reticle, and you know Demetrius is a good friend of mine. Switchable between Chevron and full ACSS with the circle. Okay, 250 MOA dot or circle in there. Shake weight, motion on, last setting recall. Uh, it also has a solar power panel. Uh, it comes with a CR1632 battery already installed with the side mount and up to 20,000 hours of battery life. That's pretty impressive. I wonder if, if they're not, and I hope they're not counting the when it's a downtime or not, but we'll, we'll have, I'll find out. Memory function and motion sensor. Uh, the uh, has 10 daylight settings and two night vision. Brightness settings under manual mode. Push button illumination, uh, IP67 which is pretty impressive, and the parallax-free unlimited eye. Now, what are we talking about when we're talking about the Vulcan reticle? Uh, so say, for instance, I got this guy right here. This is the Romeo 3 XL, and it is just a single dot. If you're new to shooting dots, one of the things you're going to encounter is you're going to lose the dot. <laughs> And if you're in an awkward position, uh, it's hard to acquire the dot. Uh, we can go ahead and turn this thing on right here. You can see that dot right there. I hope you can see it anyway. So what's cool about the circle here is that you're, if you're in an awkward position or if you're new to a dot, uh, the, the circle is going to help center you on that dot. A lot of uh, advanced shooters, my good friend Pops Quest, does or, he doesn't really need that circle. Uh, but he's also shooting competition where he's shooting at a flat, he's going after targets, he knows exactly where that dot is. Uh, if you're in a situation where you're running around and you're shooting over and above and, and all kinds of stuff, it's helpful to have that dot. All right, so uh, there are several different ways you can use this thing on a handgun, bullet drop compensation, or a rifle drop compensation. I personally am not worried about drop compensation on a pistol. So the Chevron is nice because you do have an infinite uh, point. So if you really want to be detailed with your shot placement, that is a good thing to do, have. All right, so let's stop talking and let's open this bad boy up. Cause, well, I'm, originally I was going to put that on this firearm here. I love this thing. Uh, I actually have one with the uh, Live Free Armory slide that I've installed these Trigicon night sights on. And I tell you what. They look pretty good. So there's going to be some changes going on here. So let's open this bad boy up. You do come with the silica gels. You've got the really cool card. Activate your warranty. I have no idea what the warranty is on it. It's lens cleaning. Uh, 10 MOA Chevron. Oh, each click is one MOA and a 250 MOA circle. 
it's pretty cool. We'll show you what it actually looks like. You got the manual here, and <clears throat> here's the reflex light manual here. Cool deal. And this is what the optic looks like. Now, let's take a look at, uh, say, where did that damn sig go? So this is a reflex sight where the emitter is back here and it's open. So say for instance, you were in a situation where you had a bunch of mud or you were thrown in the water or anything. Uh, you have may have an issue down the road. Um, also, say for instance, you're in a competition or you're in a situation where you're holstered and you're vertical like this, water, rain, everything will get down in there. A lot of times you'll see guys in a competition world or whatever, they'll put a rag over it, a little Dixie cup over top of that, just so you don't have run into the situation where water gets down in there. It's just a, basically a cup that you can fill full of water. Okay, so this guy's waterproof, IP67, moisture proof, uh, fog proof, all kinds of cool stuff. I like it simply because it's big, blocky, it's chunky. Does it give you a bigger window than this guy right here? Yeah, just a tad, I think. Uh, not a, as big a window as this guy right here. I gotta find a gun. I think what I'm gonna do, I've got my SIG uh, Legion X5. I'm gonna go ahead and get the, uh, the adapter plate from uh, Springer Precision and put this on that. And then I've got on that a Delta Point Pro, which is gonna rotate over to my Mark 12 because it has a Leopold uh, this flat dark earth on it. It's bad as hell. So anyway, we'll do a video on that in the future. Okay. Talking about this, the uh, features of this guy, uh, like I said, 10 levels of daytime brightness, two levels of brightness for the, uh, nighttime vision. If you're using the uh, nods, um, you go ahead, you can turn it on like that and it will go immediately to the last settings that you had. Now I'm going to see if I can, I'm having to use my phone. You guys see that? That's actually a really good, <laughs> that's actually not bad. So that's what it looks like. And as you get up closer or further away, that's it. Okay, so uh, at night vision, what happens if you're in the dark on auto, it'll dim. And then if it's really bright, like it is underneath this light, you'll see that, okay? So then what can happen is you can hold down the plus sign and for five seconds, let me do that. Okay, and now what's happened is it's gone into manual mode. And you can dim it down or brighten it up. I'm having to look through the camera. Or brighten it up as much as you want. And let me tell you something, daylight bright, it is. That thing is obnoxiously bright, which is good. You need that in the day. Me personally, I want to leave it on manual because I just don't like if you're inside, you're shooting outside, you know the drill. Uh, a lot of things can happen. Now, if you want to remove the circle, all you have to do, hold on, let me see if I make sure you guys can see what's going on here. You press the negative button like that, hold it down, and the circle goes away and you just have the chevron, which is really, really nice. I, I Either way, I like having the circle dot on there just because, hold on, hold the negative down, five seconds, there you go. All right, so what does this thing come with? Uh, you've got the side tray, one MOA per click, uh, left and right elevation. And the, the part that I'm a little bit uh, not happy with, I'm not, not that I'm not happy with, I'm always happy, right? Um, let me show you what, is going on with this base plate that we have here. It comes with this guy, okay? Also, it comes with uh, the screws right here, which have a little bit of uh, Loctite on, which is nice. But what happens is, is when you go to mount this thing, um, it's it's high, okay? Not high, I came to get high. I came to get high, I came to get high. You know that song, remember that song a long time ago when you were a kid? So we'll put this thing on here. Now what happens when we put this plate on, I'm not gonna put the screws in yet. Uh, it is elevated. Come on now, get on there. It's elevated. So it's not a co-witness. If you can see that, hold on one second. Damn it. You don't have a perfect co-witness and your irons are completely hidden. Now. That's the way it has to happen. So what, what does that do to me? Well, 
Uh, it's carry gun. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Um, or I may. Hell, I don't know. Let's see. I just put these sights on this guy here. Let's see. And the same thing. Um, yeah. I mean, you can. Uh, what do you call? Uh, target focus on on it, and you can still because I shoot with both hand, both eyes open. Uh, but you can still do that. So what I don't want to do is have a concealed carry gun like this, okay, uh, with a big clunky sight that's a little high. So what I thought I would do, just for shits and giggles, because this guy uh, sits low, because the screws go directly through the optic into the uh, upper slide. This does do a perfect co-witness. So what I'm thinking I might do is go ahead and take this boy off of here and mount on this guy. So we'll do that later on. I don't have to worry about seeing it in front of me, but you take this thing, it mounts on there like that. We might just for shits and giggles, because what I want to do is I would like to take both uh, of these firearms out and test them both with this thing on here. Now, I'm not going to beat the hell out of it here in my shop because I, or my table here because I really don't need to. You want to see that. I think uh, Guns, and Gear, Guns and Gear does a pretty good job, and you know Aaron Sage or Cowan, uh, Sage Dynamics, he did a great job. And as a matter of fact, both of those guys pretty much claim that this is one of the more durable optics out there other than the uh, uh, Trigicon. And um, so anyway, I, I don't know, man. I might leave that on there. Or because my wife doesn't know anything about using red dots or sights or anything, I might just leave this on here and keep this guy where it is because uh, I like it. Uh, so in any case, there it is. Uh, this is the 509C, uh, no, 509 with ACSS Vulcan. And there's the mounting plate underneath there. So we'll, we'll go ahead and put this thing on here. Let's do that now. In order to test this thing out for true durability, let me show you a firearm that I have. Stand by. How about that? This is the FK Bruno. This is the PSD. Made in Chechnya. Chechnya. Czech Czechia. Uh, that's the round it shoots. 2,000 feet per second. I've actually chronoed this thing at 220, uh, 2,050 feet per second at 7.5 millimeter. That's a bad mother junger at 95 grain, and it's been known to take down elk. So anyway, we'll put the optic on top of that thing and see how it rolls. Uh, but anyway, there you go. That's what it looks like on the firearm. Pretty excited. I might just leave that on there because uh, I told my wife I let her hold this thing, and she said she really liked it. I'm going to trick this guy out with the Timmy trigger and a bunch of other stuff. I don't really want that to be used as a carry gun. Uh, uh, like I said, the only thing that I really don't care for uh, is the mag release button. It is non-reversible too, so uh, that's it. This is another one. This we got the Lantac barrel on here, uh, Trigicon night sights, and like I said, if I can get that Lone Wolf grip module to work, we're going to transfer that slide back onto that, and I'll buy another slide for this guy. So with that being said, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, this is a really good optic. I like. Well, you know what? Shit, I love that window. Uh, damn, man. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, this creates problems for me because <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to put it on. With that being said, guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. It's freedom. It's not free. If you haven't done so, go over and check out kb32tac.com. There's a link to primary arms. 450 bucks. They're not in stock right now. And unfortunately, when they do get in stock, they get sold out real damn quick. So, with that being said, you guys be good. I am out of here. Take care. Boom.